Quick video for you about why T height is so important for a driver and if you're using the wrong T height, the reason why you might be doing so. Most people tend to use these castle tees nowadays, so there's a variety of different sizes. I've got four of them here. But if you look at a comparison between the smallest and the biggest here, there's quite a big difference to how high the ball is going to be sat off the ground using those two different tees. Now, you often find a lot of people using the small tee here that they're going to have quite a downward strike on the golf ball with the driver. And what they find is if they tee the ball up really high, they tend to hit it off the crown, the ball pops straight up into the air and doesn't get anywhere near the distance that they're looking for. So they tee it nice and low and that helps them to kind of mask the issue a little bit. Now we're really looking to have the ball teed up a little bit higher with the driver because we're looking to have an upward strike onto the golf ball. So if you're finding that you're having to tee the ball really, really low down so that you don't hit the crown and just hit it straight up into the air, it's highly likely that you've got an angle of attack which is too downward into the golf ball. Now there's a couple of different reasons why you could be creating that. So it's worth going and seeing a PJ professional to double check what it is that's causing it. But if you're hitting on a low tee, it's likely you're going too much down. And we should be trying to aim for a taller tee with the driver to encourage a more upward angle of attack into the ball. The reason it's so important these days, we've obviously got big headed drivers, they've got a very big surface area, and they're designed so that if we do hit up on the ball like so, we're gonna get the maximum amount of carry and the maximum amount of rollout once the ball then hits the ground. So check your tee height. If it's too low, you might be too downward.